be going into the studio with someone like Post yeah. Malone. How did how did that sort of relationship evolve to get to that point? My dad was just like, hey, I think my son makes music. I think you should stop in and say what's up, maybe work together. And he came in and he was like, yeah, I like the, I like the way this song sounds, and he hopped on it. What's up guys, Xavier here with you back on the How'd You Do It podcast. And I'm hanging out here with the man who goes singularly by the word Neptune. Yes, and I'm very right. impressed that you were able to get that handle on Instagram. It was not easy. <laughs> so we originally were trying to go for um, just at Dylan, mm -hmm. but the kid who had it was super, he wouldn't swallow his pride. He was like, no, I want like $22,000 for this at. And it was like, bro, what? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> right? It's like, bro, it's an at. Come on. Why wow. are you holding this so, like, high? But the dude who had Neptune was just, like, just some normal dude. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll give it to you. Wow. But, um, like, I remember I was looking through $22, all the... $22,000. What a little punk. That, that It was a lot. I don't know if that was, like, an exact number, but right. it was, a, like, a crazy amount for, like, just an at. Yeah, yeah. But um, I was looking at all the other planets. All the other planets have, like, on Instagram, all those tags are taken by, like, companies. Right. Neptune was the only one that was taken by like just a dude. Gotcha. Like I think Jupiter was taken by like a hotel. One of them was taken by like a mattress company. Yeah, Saturn. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah Saturn. I think that was the mattress. It was something weird and Neptune was just taken by some dude on private and I was like that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my new artist name. Anyway, uh, how are you, man? How's things? I'm good. I'm good. Um seems like you know, you're busy. Uh yeah, <laughs> I, I try to look busy. Gotcha. It, like actually, like I'm always at like the shop, and I'm just kind of like there. Like I don't know. I like to think I'm busy, but I don't really know anymore. Nice. No, I feel busy. I feel like I'm getting. Well, stuff you, done. yeah. If you aren't busy, you definitely look busy. <laughs> Tell us about this, what's this little edition here. You oh, this. Yeah. Um, I have actually. Yeah, I can take it out. It's pretty easy. Wow. I have two of them. The other one doesn't really fit that well, though. Yeah. Kind of like reworking. I only like really wearing one anyway, because it's a nice little like side thing. You guys can see that. Which one? Yeah. Which camera? That what one. Is that? Like a, what is that like? What do you What do you call that? Uh, it's a uh, a canine grill. It's not like a full grill. I was gonna I say I was gonna say grill, but canines. Yeah, yeah. But um, I don't know. I like I couldn't personally. I feel like I could never rock a full grill. Yeah. I feel like it just wouldn't fit me. Like people like Travis, they can rock a full one and it looks dope on them. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like I need something subtle. Like this, like this is it's subtle. Yeah. I mean it's in there, but it's 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 not like giant blocky like that. Um. It's that one Tyler it's the Creator tasteful. has. It's tasteful. You know yeah. the one Tyler the Creator has. It's yeah. like a giant Igor head. Yeah. Like not like that. Like I love little small ones like that. Yeah. I don't know. I just can never rock something so like. I, I think it's the right move, man. Yeah. And guys, for those of you who are, for those of you watching, you watch every week, who aren't familiar with uh, with Dylan. So, you know, you used to go by the name Di Dynamite Dylan. You mm -hmm. had sort of a whole thing going on online, mm -hmm. and then you went, hang on a second. I'm going to go in a different direction and, yeah. and changed everything to, to Neptune and went down. Um, you know, you've sort of created this really cool like space, like galaxy, like yeah. branding, yeah. branded concept. How did all that come about? Um, I've always, so a while ago, a while ago, I came up with the name for an album, Neptune Shining Demise, which is the name of my upcoming album, I think. I never really understood the difference between an EP and an album. Mm -hmm. I think an EP is like a certain amount of tracks. Five songs, yeah. Yeah, and then an album is yeah. like 10 or more. Mm -hmm. So album. Is in. I came up with that name and I was like, that actually sounds really cool. And I just kind of put it on the shelf. Say it again. What's it called? Neptune's Shiny Demise. Okay. Keep it in mind All whenever right. it comes out. But um, but yeah, like I had that idea when I was um, Dynamite Dell and I kept it there because I thought it sounded really cool and I really liked the the idea of being called Neptune because I always Neptune it rains diamonds there. It rains diamonds on a few other planets, but that was the first planet I heard of it raining diamonds on it, and I was wow. like, that's tight. I it's did not know that. Stuck in my head. There you yeah. go. Some science. I for think you. it rains diamonds on Uranus as well, but I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that, science freaks. I don't know my space facts that well, even though I'm named after a planet. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> nice. Okay. And so, and how did the, I mean? It's, okay. Here's one funny question I've got for you. Reading your bio, it's sort of like you know, it's it's explaining how you got into music, and it says um, Dylan got into music after he was, I guess, like encouraged by a family friend who was Will I Am. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm from a small town about an hour out of Melbourne in Australia, right? My family friend weren't like A-list celebrities. Um, were you surrounded by that constantly growing up? So, yeah. you know, in the, in the environment you were in? Yeah, because, you know, my dad always has been making cars for big people. Like, he makes cars for Pose. He makes cars for Justin. He hasn't made one for Justin recently. But, like, you know, we keep in touch with all these people. And I always, like, met them. And it will, like... It never really is really like out of the norm. Like I'm really used to talking to people like that. Like mm -hmm. it's not like that weird for me. Yeah. Because I've always lived around it. Um, 
but yeah, I'm, I'm, I've always been able to like been able to communicate and make connections through my dad and like grow an actual bond with the person. Mm -hmm. Like post, like we're we're good friends. I'd say I don't know if he'd say the same, but sure, we're, we're close. We're yeah, close. Yeah. Like before he um, released beer bongs and Bentleys, he'd always come to the house and we'd always make steak. We get we get, we actually sold him a cat. Okay. We, we're like low key cat breeders and kind of dog breeders now, but um. I don't know if he still has the cat. Real and dealing, right? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Same with Will. Will's and always been like a, a family friend as well. And and uh, so Will was coming to your dad to get his cars yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. A ton of his cars are in the display room at the shop, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, like like I'd say like five out of, like five of them are his. Wow. And and uh, and how did you you know how he's credited as being as a uh, an encouragement to your to starting off music for you? How did yeah. he encourage you? He's always um he's always just been there to help. He's always been there to give support when he can give support and help out with production and music videos and all that and ideas. And he's all and like I remember the first time I walked into his studio, I think it was like the first time I really like fell in love with the feeling he has, the vibe that he has, like that studio that he has and. Burbank, I think. Yeah, it's like a spaceship, right? It's, it's crap. crazy. It's all white and it's all like super simplistic and modern architecture. It looks insane. Mm -hmm. That was like my first introduction to this whole like kind of simplistic, modern, and like futuristic feeling. Mm -hmm. And I fell in love with it immediately. I, I walked in, I was like, this looks crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's always been an encouragement of just like everything. He's always been there. And I've always looked up to just his his creative vision in a lot of ways. Yeah, for sure. And um, and speaking of Post Malone, so you've got two songs out with him, right, that you've mm, done? We have, well, we have, the, it's the same song, but one of them is like an older version and one of them is a newer one. Gotcha. Like a remade version of that one. But yeah, I do technically have two, but it's just like the one, but like remade choice. Sure. So, you know, man, it's like, it's one thing to sort of like walk into a shop and sort of give a high five to, um, you know, the owner's son and say, g'day, what's up? What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah. That's one thing. It's a, it's a completely other thing to sort of get to a point where you're going into the studio with someone like Post yeah. Malone. How did, how did that sort of relationship evolve to get to that point? Well, we met him very early on. Like, now it'd probably be really hard to get as close to him as we are. But, like, we met him back before, or, like, around when Stoney first dropped. So mm -hmm. we were able to, like, talk to him a lot more. He wasn't, like, touring mm -hmm. around the world, like, 24-7. Which, I mean, is great. He can do that. Like, it's fine. He's, he's got a job to do. But, like, before that, we were able to talk to him and really, like, get close to him. And, and that's kind of stayed. That bond has kind of stayed. Like, I remember the last time he came, he walked in, and a few of my friends were playing Skate 3, and he sat down and just started playing Skate 3. Mm -hmm. It was the funniest thing. But, like, we're really close, and I really enjoy working with him. He's a really, really nice guy. He's a really kind person. And I love his... I also lo I love his music. I love his whole tone that he goes for. Mm -hmm. But, um... It, it, it does suck that we can't see him as much, but I, it, I completely understand. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so, do you remember how, um, how it came about for you to sort of get into the studio together? Um, he kind of just like, my dad was just like, hey, I think my son makes music. I think you should stop in and say what's up and try and do something, maybe work together. And he came in and he was like, yeah, I like the, I like the way this song sounds. And he hopped on it. Oh, really? Yeah, that was because back then he didn't really like, like you know, now it's, it's kind of hard for him to just hop on a track like sure. it has to go through his management right. and then it has to go through a ton of other people which again is fine but back then it was just like if he liked the track and wanted to hop on it you could just go in and hop on it yeah it didn't really matter but um but yeah we're working on getting him on another track gotcha can't say what it is now but we're working on it right and i uh, just i what, what what is it i mean obviously he's having such a awesome well he's had a couple of really great years um as of late mm -hmm. what do you think it is about him that sort of uh sets him apart that that everyone's going crazy about I think it's just, um, it's his voice. His voice is really unique. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that vibrato. If you don't know vibrato, I know, it's like, I know, that's shaky. I know exactly what you're talking about. It yeah. is a very, uh, a very honest and genuine it's a very, sort like, of way he sings. It's a very incredible mix of feelings and tones, his voice. And, and, and his music, too, is very, it mixes a lot of genres. Like Stoney, I remember that, that album mixed so many different genres and types of music. Mm -hmm. And he still does that to this day. Can you run me through sort of the, the sort of evolution of uh, of you, I guess? So it started. It looked like you started off on YouTube, mm -hmm. sort of thing, right? Is that is that is that yeah. where you sort of you first yeah. began with your crea creative activity? Yeah, definitely. I did um, <laughs> I did Lego reviews really? a while ago. A while ago. I don't even know if you. Can Hell find yeah! Now that's anymore. a channel I want to subscribe yeah. to, man. <laughs> they were they were so uh, they were so. Dude, I mean, you're in the you're 15, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so a while ago for you makes complete sense. It's a couple of years ago and you're into Lego then, so was yeah. I still am, you know? I'm still into Lego. Yeah, dude, I Lego still like, uh, like, just calming down, sitting by a fireplace, getting just a bang energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just cracking <laughs> open a Lego box and just going... 
<sighs> All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. And just going into it, like it's it's a Legos are you know for everyone. Yep. And so how did how uh, that so it went from Lego into I mean you were you were, you did you did the had the uh, the Team Ten thing for a while too. Yeah, eh? yeah. How I did how did how did that sort of foray into that world? It um. They're, you know, they're just, they're in L.A. My dad was like, hey. Oh, no, actually, no. Jake came to us and was like, hey, I want you to customize this car for us. And then he just connected us, like, normally with everyone else. Like, hey, my son does so-and-so. You should, you should, you should guys should chat up. I think you would like him. And naturally, they love me because I'm just awesome. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we chatted, and they, and my dad thought that it would be cool if we worked together. We built a loft there, and then I just kind of slowly disconnected myself from it because I wanted to, I wanted to branch off and do my own thing. Right, you, uh, you built a loft at the Team Ten. Yeah, house. we built a loft in the uh, the garage. I think they took it down, right. but it was in there, and it was I mean, such a dope spot. I saw, uh, I did see you. What was it? You had a tent on the roof to start. Oh with, yeah, right? a while ago. A while so was ago. that? Was, yeah, I mean, it looked like at the very start. Was that actually how it went? You were like, "Cool, I'm moving in here," or was? That, oh was no, it? no, yeah, no. Yeah. I still lived at my house. I never actually moved in there. I at least I would imagine most people knew that. Mm -hmm. But um, to those that thought I lived there, I did not. I still lived in my house in my my double bunk bed. And were you really? Every time you were grabbing like one of Jake's cars, you weren't really driving. No, I wasn't driving. No, <laughs> I, I, I like even if he told me, "Hey, I need you to just drive my Lamborghini like two feet," I'd be like, "Bro, I don't even trust myself to sit in that." Yeah, yeah. The most I trust myself to do is sit in it and just go, ah, <laughs> and then get out. Yeah. I don't trust myself to put my feet anywhere near the pedals. For sure. For sure. Okay. Yeah. And how was your? I mean, how was your? Was were you spending a lot of time in the team? At 10 oh yeah. How was your experience? In I that? spent a lot of um, nights in the loft. Actually, um, I found. I think it's still. Well, he probably found it, but it was in the. Uh, it was in like this prop closet. I found his Elon Musk flamethrower, and I toyed around with that with my homie Tristan. Shout out Tristan. <laughs> um, if you're watching this, what's up, bro? I hope you're still not sick. <laughs> but um, we toyed around with that. Like I spent a lot of nights there, and it was it was dope. Like we had this fan that acted as like a heater as well. Mm -hmm. And if you cranked that and just got up in like this little loft area with like these love sacks, it was so so snug in there. <laughs> okay. I had like my my PC set up. We had a TV. I would just connect my phone to the TV, and I just watch a Joe Rogan podcast, and I just. Got it sorted out. This kid knows how to live. Um, and it was uh, like a little dorm room. It was so cozy. Yeah, right. And did you like, what, like, uh, how was your experience being in that Team Ten environment? Were you? Did you learn a lot? Were you inspired? Like, I know that they're all. You know, it seems like full on content creation yeah. going on all the time. How, how how was that experience? It um around the time I was there, it kind of was getting quiet because I think they were getting ready for the fight gotcha. with um, KSI back when that or like when the Logan first one. And, like the first first one. Um, like around the time that loft went up, it was when they were prepping for that. So it was kind of quiet there, actually. Like a lot of the people were like out, kind of like doing interviews in like different states and stuff. So Jake was like, he was there, but he wasn't there as much. But um, it was quiet when I was there. But it was nice. Like there was the occasional time where people would just be running around with cameras and lighting things on fire. And I was like, oh, well, it's just typical Team Ten stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you go to do you go to school? Do you home yeah, school? I'm homeschooled. I'm homeschooled. I'm homeschooled. I, yeah. I used to go to um this one school in like this giant tower, is Hallstrom. Uh, I met a lot of really cool people there. Some friends that I'm actually still with, uh, that are really good friends of mine. Mm -hmm. But um now I'm homeschooled. But okay. It's definitely a good change of pace because I have more time to work. Yep. In quotes. <laughs> gotcha. And do you? <laughs> that's hilarious. You said that. Do you? Do you like how? What, what does your day look like? Are you spending a lot of time on your own sort of content? Like, what takes up most of your time? We. Uh, so I'm. I'm in school from like nine to one, mm -hmm. and then Swizz comes and picks me up. We dip to the shop. We get in and out of Chick Fil A. We're very. We are on a very. Damn, Swizz has got a great job, man. Check yeah, that out. he gets to drive me around. He gets <laughs> to hear my horrible jokes. <laughs> he gets to hear my horrible mixtape. It's it's dope, <laughs> but if like uh, me and Swizz made this joke, if a dude like if a hitman was trying to kill us, it'd be really easy to track down where we're going, because we have a very easy to memorize pattern. Okay. It's either we leave, go to In and Out, or leave, go to Chick. Okay. There's never straight to the shop. There's never like no in between. And what do you what do you say? You go to your to West your dad's yeah, shop, right? After, what, after what do we you, eat, we go there. What do you do I, there? Uh, depends. Sometimes I like more recently. I've been um, I've been streaming on Twitch, which is going good. Mm -hmm. I love I love I I streamed a lot when I was um, Dynamite Dylan, and then when we did the name change, I didn't stream because my Twitch was still Dynamite Dylan, mm -hmm. and the Neptune name wasn't available. Right. So I changed it to this other alt name that I have, and um, I just kind of like gave up on trying to get Neptune, and I was just like, I'm just gonna stream, and it's going pretty well. It's going better than it did as um, Dynamite Dylan, but I enjoy that. That's normally what I do now is I get there at like three or two and then I just stream until I leave. Right. So you're if, unless like there's like a studio session in which like I go I like 
I get there, I play, I play a bit, they show up at like three or four, and then we go in the studio and like get to work. Right. Not a bad life you got going on, man. Oh, no, not at all. I'm grateful. If you like what you saw, make sure you check out some of our other videos right here, and also be sure to subscribe to our channel right here for new videos coming out every week.